What is the origin of analog as a term meaning non-digital? This question came up when having a pun-ridden discussion with some of my colleagues, a when and why did we start using the word analog to mean not using numerical digits? Edom Online only has an origin for the sense of having an allergy to something else, but that's not the meaning I'm interested in. It does mention that the computing sense is recorded from 1946, but not what the origin of that sense is. I can guess there may once have been a specific and well-known analogy to which this use of the word was a reference, and that that analogy has since faded from common knowledge, but an uneducated guess is just folk etymology that hasn't yet spread. As this use of the word is apparently fairly young, I'm hoping there's a more reliably accurate origin story than mine out there. Analog comes from computing. A chronology of analog computing, article in the Rutherford Journal. The word analog was first used as a technical term during the 1940s and referred specifically to a class of computing technology. Today, the word enjoys much wider usage, typically conveying continuity. For example, engineers will discuss analog and digital signals, and musicians decide whether to record their work on analog, continuous, or digital, discrete media. Analog computing emerged during the 19th century and became a mainstream computing technology during the early 20th. The word analog has been used because the electric signal, for example, in analog telephone line, is transmitted in a way that the voice vibrations correspond to electric signal fluctuation. In other words, the electric signal imitates the voice. In digital transmission, voice is coded into bytes, then is decoded with special protocol. Another example is radio versus Morse code. Radio directly, by analogy, transmits the voice with electric signal variation. Morse code transmits only combinations of dots and dashes that are decoded by a trained person. So we can call Morse message digital because the concept is the same coding and decoding rather than an electric analogy of physical phenomena. So the word analog is used to reflect the concept when some physical phenomenon is converted into its electric signal analog. The word digital is used when a phenomenon properties are coded, then decoded. Here are a few examples and articles to explain the difference between analog and digital concept. The basic difference between analog and digital technology on HowStuffWorks.com Analog versus digital with explanation and comparison chart on Diffin.com I believe the usage of the word comes from analog electronics. Analog electronics, or analog in American English, are electronic systems with a continuously variable signal, in contrast to digital electronics where signals usually take only two levels. The term analog describes the proportional relationship between a signal and a voltage or current that represents the signal. The word analog is derived from the Greek word alpha nu lambda omicron gamma omicron, analogos, meaning proportional. Wikipedia The original electronic computers were analog. The computations were done by adding, subtracting, integrating, differentiating electronic signals, voltages, so these signals were analogs of the real-life values being modeled. There were also various types of electromechanical computers, of course, from Babbage's difference engine to Turing's code-breaking device to several others in England and the US. The devices were incredibly slow and unreliable, though, and noisy. Digital electronic computers, generally considered to start with the ENIAC at University of Pennsylvania, were so named to differentiate from analog ones. Earlier radio and electronics references often classified signals and or variables as continuous or discrete as on page 981 of the 4th edition, 1956, of reference data for radio engineers, published by ITT. When the word analog became an antonym of digital is a question that might better be reversed, since analog certainly preceded digital as a description of means of representation. The continuous or discrete description for analog and digital respectively is perhaps the most universal explanation of the difference in representation of data. The first instance is empiric, based on experience, the second abstractive, based on theory. This is illustrated by the fact that in an analog recording the data stream follows a direct perception or stimulus, whereas a digital recording generates bytes based on probability. The first simply expresses a more direct causal connection to the origin of the data than the second. 